Hello. Today we are going to start again the same chapter that is binomial theorem. Some more multiple choice questions. Let us see. Yesterday we did up to question number eight. Today we'll start with question number nine. In this three consecutive or successive coefficients in the expansion one plus x whole power n are twenty eight, fifty six, and seventy. You have to find n. So for this, we will take the general term. The general term is n c r x power r. Because we have to take three consecutive coefficients, we will take n c r in the middle. Before this, n c r minus one, and after this, n c r plus one. these three are successive coefficients which come one after the other this ncr in the middle okay so i can take ncr minus 1 as 28 ncr as 56 ncr plus 1 as 70 now using these three equations we can find n for example if i take ncr by ncr minus 1 that means i'm taking 56 by 28 and so what will i get ncr n factorial by r factorial into n minus r factorial ncr minus 1 n factorial by r minus one factorial into n minus r plus one factorial. Fifty six by twenty eight is two. I can cancel n factorial. Then I have r minus one factorial into n minus r plus one factorial by r factorial into n minus r factorial is two. I will write r minus one factorial saying n minus r plus one. The next term you will subtract one, so the next one will be n minus r. Stop here by putting factorial. Denominator r. The next is r minus one. Stop here by putting factorial. And n minus r factorial equal to two. N minus R factorial will cancel. R minus one factorial will cancel. Then we are left off with N minus R plus one by R equal to two. Similarly, we can take the other one also. This is one equation you can take. Or if you want, you can simplify this more and then take it as equation one. Simplifying more means like this. What I will do is n minus r plus one equal to two r, n minus three r plus one equal to zero. This is equation one. Now how to do equation two? This time I will divide n c r plus one by n c r. That means I will divide seventy by fifty six. So now I have n c r plus one by n c r. That will be equal to seventy by fifty six. n c r plus one is n factorial by r plus one factorial. Into n minus r minus one factorial. Denominator n factorial because I have to write n c r n factorial by r factorial into n minus r factorial. Seven tens, seven eights, two fives, two hundred. 
टू फोर्स एन फैक्टोरियल विल कैंसिल देन आई विल हैव आर फैक्टोरियल इंटू एन माइनस आर फैक्टोरियल बाय आर प्लस वन फैक्टोरियल इंटू एन माइनस आर माइनस वन फैक्टोरियल एन माइनस आर माइनस वन फैक्टोरियल इक्वल टू फाइव बाय फोर now r factorial i will keep n minus r the next one you have to subtract one n minus r minus 1 stop by putting factorial then r plus 1 after that when you subtract one you will have r stop by putting factorial and then n minus r minus 1 factorial equal to 5 by 4 so r factorial will cancel n minus r minus 1 factorial will cancel n minus r by r plus 1 equal to 5 by 4 4 minus 4 r equal to 5 r plus 5 or 4 minus 9 r minus 5 equal to 0 this is equation 2 already we got equation 1 n minus 3r plus 1 equal to 0 n minus 3r plus 1 equal to 0 this is equation 1 because we have to find n you can multiply equation 1 by minus 3 so i am writing here I will have four n minus nine r minus five equal to zero. When I multiply by minus three, minus three n plus nine r minus three equal to zero. I will add these two equations. So n, these two will cancel. Minus nine r and plus nine r. N minus eight equal to zero, or I get n equal to eight. so this will be your answer they asked us to find n let us go to question number 10 now we completed question number 9 okay question number 10 is 21st and 22nd terms in the expansion 1 plus x whole power 44 are equal we have to find x so first of all the general term tr plus 1 is ncr x power r remember the power n is 44 so we are taking 21st term and 22nd term that means here r will be 20 here r will be 21 so n is 44 r is 20 x power r is 20 then n is 44 r is 21 x power r is 21 so these two terms are equal 21st and 22nd terms are equal that is what they said so we will equate 44 c 20 x power 20 equal to 44 c 21 x power 21 or x power 21 by x power 20 equal to 44 c 20 by 44 c 21 now i can write this as in the numerator 44 c 20 44 factorial by 44 minus 20 that is 24 factorial into 20 factorial denominator 44 c 21 i will write 44 factorial by 21 factorial into 41 Minus twenty one, forty four. Sorry, forty four minus twenty one. So that will be twenty three fact factorial. 
so that will be equal to x power 21 minus 20 i can cancel 44 factorial 21 factorial into 23 factorial by 20 factorial into 24 factorial is equal to x 21 factorial i will expand as 21 into 20 factorial 23 factorial i will write same 20 factorial same 24 factorial i will write 24 into 23 factorial so that 23 factorial will cancel 20 factorial will cancel and we will get x equal to 21 by 24 three sevens three eights in this way we got the value of x as 7 by 8 coming to question number 11 In this expansion, 1 plus ax plus bx square into 1 minus 2x power 18, we are arranging the powers of x and what we find in here in this expansion is coefficients of x cube and x power 4 both are zeros then we have to find what is a what is b so first of all i will write 1 plus a x plus b x square and then 1 minus 2 x whole power 18 actually the complicated one is this 1 minus x power n. So for this the general term is ncr x power r minus 1 power r. That is what I have to remember. So because we are seeing coefficients of x cube. First when I see coefficient of x cube what i will get one has to be multiplied with i must have x cube that means r should be three and okay i will take i will write here r is three then n is power 18 then in place of x, I will write 2x. These all things I have to write. So, n is 18. C, r is 3. Of course, I will have x cube, which I need not write because I have to write only coefficients. Then minus 1 cube, I will write. So, this is what I have for coefficient of x cube. But I have one more. This ax is also there. That means the coefficient a has to be multiplied with coefficient of x square now. Because already x is there, you have to multiply with x square. So now r will be 2. So n c2 minus 1 power 2. One more coefficient you will have bx square. So b also will be multiplied because it is x square. This time we will multiply with x power 1 so that we will get x cube. So r will be 1 now. n c 1 minus 1 power 1. This total thing is coefficient of x cube. Similarly, we will take coefficient of x power 4. So, when I write coefficient of x power 4, I will use another ink. First one, when I multiply 1, I have to take r as x power 4. r is 4. So, in first case, I will take r as 4. n, c, 4, minus 1 power 4. 
then plus when i multiply ax a into because already i have x this time i will take x cube so r must be 3 so n c r and then what else i will have I will write separately. This is looking a little bit confused for you. So I will write more neatly. It will be easy for you to understand. Too many things are here. That's why. Let me remove this first completely. Okay, let me tell you what I am doing here. So, I am taking coefficient of x cube clearly. So, 1 I have to multiply with in this expansion coefficient of x cube. Plus ax I have to multiply with coefficient of x square b x square i have to multiply with coefficient of x total i will have coefficient of x cube actually i need not take this x i need not take this x square okay because i'm taking just the coefficients similarly when i take coefficient of x power 4 1 i will multiply with coefficient of x power 4 a i will multiply with coefficient of x cube and b i will multiply with coefficient of x square so all these coefficients how to write the general term is ncr x power r minus 1 power r Remember, n is 18 and x is minus 2x. So, when I write coefficient of x cube, like in this expansion, in this expansion, if I want coefficient of x cube, coefficient of x power 4, coefficient of x power 3 and all, what I should do, you see here. This I will see later. I am talking about finding coefficient of x power 4, finding coefficient of x power 3, finding coefficient of x square, finding coefficient of x. All these I will show you. So, when I want coefficient of x power 4, when I'm considering x power 4, in that case, r will be 4. So, I will have 18 c4 minus 1 power 4 x minus 2 x power 4. When I take coefficient of x cube, I will take r as 3. 18 c3 minus 1 power 3 minus 2 x power 3. When I take coefficient of x square, r will be 2. 18 c3 minus 1 whole square minus 2 x whole square. Lastly, coefficient of x, r will be 1. 18 c3 minus 1 power 1 minus 2 x power 1. One more thing I can do, here I can remove all the x's because I don't want x's at all. So now I will go to find total coefficient of x cube after multiplication. One, what I will multiply with? Coefficient of x cube. 
So I will have minus. Okay, I will copy as it is first. Eighteen C three. What I will write is eighteen C three minus one power three minus two power three. This is what I will write. Actually, because I am writing minus one, this minus two is also not necessary. I can write just plus two power three. And then a I have to multiply with what? Coefficient of x square. So coefficient of x square means what I will have? Eighteen c two, eighteen c one here. Okay. Ah, uh, I think there is a little bit confusion still. Let us start from the beginning. In the question, I'm saying multiply one plus a x plus b x square with one minus two x whole power eighty. Then. Find coefficients of x cube and x power four, which are zeros. In such case, you have to find a and b. That is what they are saying. So, first of all, I will give importance to one thing: one minus two x whole power eighty. Remember this first. One plus x. This is looking like. Give importance to this. This is looking like one plus x, whole power n. So in this, x is minus two x, n is eighteen, and if I find general term, it is n c r. And x power r. So this is very important for me. Now what I will do is listen carefully. I will collect all coefficients of x cube. That means one I have to multiply with coefficient of x cube. The term which has x cube. Okay, first in the beginning I will write the entire term. After that I will cut. So x cube means eighteen c three minus two x power three. Then a x I will multiply with x square. So eighteen c two minus two x power two. Then next. B x square I will multiply with x's. That is eighteen c one minus two x power one. Like this I will multiply. But because I am seeing only coefficient, I will remove the x's. I don't want x's at all. That is what I am saying. I will remove all the x's. So what I will have? Eighteen C three minus into eight. Then next plus a into eighteen C two into four plus b into eighteen C one minus two. So minus will come here into two. So this coefficient of x cube is zero. This I will set it equal to zero. That means, how can I simplify it later? I will tell you. At present, we will leave you. Next, we will find coefficient of x power four. One I have to multiply with x power four. So eighteen c four minus two x power four. A x I have to multiply with x cube. So eighteen c cube minus two x cube. 
bx square I have to multiply with x square. So 18c2 minus 2x square. But the thing is, I will not take excess anywhere because I'm taking only coefficients. So I will have 18C4 into 16 minus A into 18C3 into 8. Then plus B into 18C2 into 4. This is 0 because coefficient of X power 4 is also 0. Okay, now I have to solve these two equations. Now I hope it is clear. So how to solve? First one, minus 18C3. I will erase this. So minus 18C3, I will copy first whatever I have written into 8. Plus A into 18C2 into 4. Then minus B into 18C1 into 2. Equal to 0. First I will simplify this. Minus 18 into 17 into 16 by 6 into 8. A into 18 into 17 by 2 into 4. Minus B into 18 into 2 equal to 0. So 2 3s, 2 4s, 3 6, 18. Then 2 9s, 18. This is what I have. So no denominator. That means what I will have minus 6 into 17 into 16 into 4 plus A into 9 into 17 into 4 minus B into 18 into 2 equal to 0. I can take out common factors and make it 0. So, so that my equation will be reduced. I will get a simple equation. What will be that simple equation? Let us see. I have to take something common. Uh, can I take 18 common? Here I have 18. Here 9, this 4, 2 into 2. So 9 into 2, 18 I can take common. But here do I have 18? Uh, like 9 I need. 3 2s I have. But 9 I don't have. So 18 I can't take common. Some big number I have to take common. Then it will be easy for me. 17 only here and here is there. So let us try with taking 16 common. Here I have 16, but here I don't have 16. Here I may have 16. So 16 also cannot be taken common. What else I can take common? Let me check. First of all, I can take 4 common here. I can take 4 common here. Here also 2 into 9 I will write and I can take 4 common. So all these fours I will cancel. Left is minus 6 into 17 into 16. Plus A into 9 into 17. Minus B into 9. Because 2 we have taken. 2, 2 is 4 we have already taken. Equal to 0. Now we can't take anything common except 3. That is for sure. So 3 into 2 I will write. I will take 3 common. This 3 into 3 I will write. I will take 3 common. 9 also I will write 3 into 3 and I will take 3 common and cancel everywhere. So what I have minus 
2 into 17 into 16 plus A into 3 into 17 minus B into 3 equal to 0. This is what I have. So I can write 51A minus 3B equal to, I have to multiply this. That is 32, I have to multiply by 17. 14, 21, 22, 2 and 3, 4, 4, 5. 544 I will have. Like this, you can simplify the two equations. Slowly or like that directly also, you can simplify. So what I will get finally, I will tell you. This is equation 1. Second equation also, I will simplify. What is the second equation? I have to simplify on the next page. 18C4 into 16. 18C4 into 16. It will take some time. But if you are good, you can do it quickly. Minus A into 18C3 into 8. Minus A into 18C3 into 8. And lastly, B into 18C2 into 4. Plus B into 18C2 into 4. This is equal to 0. This also I will simplify. 18 into 17 into 16 into 15 by 24 into 16. Minus A into 18 into 17 into 16 by 6 into 8. Plus B into 18 into 17 by 2 into 4 equal to 0. This is little bit easier because everywhere 18 I can cancel and make it 0. Everywhere 17 I can cancel and make it 0. Then left off like 4 fours. 16, 4, 6, 24. Then 2, 2s, two 3s two and 3, 5s. So 16 into 5 into 2. Minus A into 2, 4s, two 2, 3s. I have. So I can write this one as uh, 16 into 4 by 3 plus 2 twos I can cancel b into 2 equal to 0. So actually this 4 I can write 2 into 2 and I can cancel the twos also making it more easier. Twos I will cancel. So left is 16 into 5 minus a into 16 into 2 by 3 plus b equal to 0. So, if you simplify this, what you will get is 16 into 5, 80. 80 equal to 32A by 3 minus B. Or 32A minus 3B equal to 240. This is equation 2. First equation I got is 51A minus 3B equal to 544. This is the first equation I got. So I can do 1 minus 2. And I can simplify. I will get A equal to 16 and B equal to 272 by 3. This is simple equation. You can simplify it. Actually, it is a little bit long. There is no shortcut method for this. So we have done like this. Now we can go to next question. That is question number 12. I will write question number 12 here. Question number 12 is... 
coefficient of rth term we are taking in the expansion 1 plus x power 20 it is equal to coefficient of r plus 2 the term in the same expansion then we have to find what is r equal to so first of all we will take 1 plus x power 20 tr plus 1 will be ncr x power r remember the power n is 20 so if you are taking r the term then what will happen what should be r in place of r you have to write r minus 1 so n is 20 r is r minus 1 x power r minus 1 then we will find r plus 2 the term that means r has to be r plus 1 so n is 20 r is r plus 1 x power r is r plus 1 these two coefficients are equal 20 c r minus 1 Equal to twenty c r plus one, or twenty c r minus one by twenty c r plus one equal to one. That means twenty factorial by r minus one factorial into twenty minus r plus one factorial by twenty factorial by R plus one factorial into twenty minus R minus one factorial is equal to one. First of all, twenty factorial will cancel. Then we have R plus one factorial into twenty minus R minus one factorial by R minus one factorial into twenty minus R plus one factorial equal to one. So now I have to expand. I will expand on the same page. R plus one. I will write R plus one factorial. R plus one into R into R minus one factorial. Then I will keep twenty minus R minus one factorial. Denominator R minus one factorial. I will keep because I can cancel R minus one factorial. Now twenty minus r plus one factorial. I will write twenty minus r plus one into twenty minus r into twenty minus r minus one factorial equal to one, so that I can cancel twenty minus r minus one factorial. Left is r plus one into r equal to twenty minus r plus one. Into twenty minus r, or r plus one into r equal to twenty one minus r into twenty minus r. I can write r square plus r equal to four hundred twenty minus twenty one r minus twenty r plus r square. R square will cancel, so I will have forty one plus one forty two R equal to four twenty R equal to ten. In this way, they asked us to find the value of R, and we got what is R is. Next question number thirteen. In the expansion. One plus x whole power forty-three. The coefficient of two x plus one the term and r plus two the term are equal. 
then R we have to find. So first I will take 1 plus x whole power 43. In this, the general term is ncr x power r, where n is the power 43. Now when I take 2r plus 1th term, this is 2r plus 1th. When I take 2r plus 1th term, what should be r equal to? I should have r equal to 2r. I have to put r as 2r. n is 43, r is 2r, x power r is 2r. Now when I take r plus 2 the term, r I have to put r plus 1. So n is 43, r is r plus 1, x power r plus 1. Now the coefficients we will take equal 43C2R equal to 43CR plus 1. That is what we will take. Now we will simplify this. 43C2R by or instead of by you can keep as it is also. Nothing wrong in that. I won't take by. What I will do is I will write 43C2R equal to 43CR plus 1 and expand. 43 factorial by 2R factorial into 43 minus 2R factorial. Here 43 factorial by R plus 1 factorial into 43 minus R minus 1 factorial. First thing is I can cancel 43 factorial. Right? Okay. After cancelling 43 factorial, uh, if you want to do, you can do it in long method like as I did in the previous sum but easy method I will tell you for that you have to remember one formula. I will tell you that formula first. Actually I think I taught you that formula in permutations and combinations. Let me remind you. If NCR equal to NCS Either R will be equal to S or R plus S will be equal to N. That formula will make the question very, very easy. So if you use this formula, what you can write is either 2R will be equal to R plus 1 or 2R plus R plus 1 will be equal to 43. Our work, what is the question asking for? The question is asking to find R. So R will be either equal to 1 or 3R will be equal to 42. R will be equal to 14. So these two, if they are in the options, you can select. If R is equal to 1, you can select that. If R equal to 14, that you can select. Which one, whichever one is there in the option. Mostly R will be not equal to 1. R equal to 14 you can select. Okay, let's go to question number 14. So in the expansion 1 plus x whole power 11, the fifth term is 24 times the third term you have to find value of x square. That is the question. So we will take 1 plus x whole power 11. We'll take the general term tr plus 1, ncr x power r, n is the power 11. So when I take fifth term, r has to be 4. n is 11, r is 4. 
x power 4. When I take the third term, r is 2. So n is 11, r is 2, x power 2. They gave t5, that is 11c4, x power 4, is 24 times t3, 11c2, x squared. That is given. So, how to find x square? First of all, x square and x square will cancel. Here you have x square. So, x square will be 24 into 11c2 by 11c4. That is for sure. Because we have to find x square. So, how to simplify this? x square is equal to 24 into 11C2 by 11C4. 24 into 11 into 10 by 2 by 11 into 10 into 9 into 8 by 24. So 11 and 10 cancels. You will have 24 into 24 Or else I will write like this. 24 into 1 by 2 into 24 by 9 into 8. So 2 twelfths, 3 fourths, 3 threes. Then 3 eighths, 24 will cancel. Left is just 4. That means you can write x square is equal to 4, which they have asked for. Very easily we can get it. Next is question number 15. In 15, we have to find coefficient of x power 7 in 1 plus x power 4 into 1 plus x whole power 9. Actually, we are not worried about 1 plus x power 4. We are worried only about 1 plus x whole power 9. We will write the general term for ncr x power r for n power 9. Now, because I want coefficient of x power 7, 1 has to be multiplied with coefficient of x power 7. That means n is 9, r has to be 7. Then plus. In x power 4 also I have 1. That 1 has to be multiplied with coefficient of x cube. So 9c, r is 3. So, this is coefficient of x power 7. That is what we have to find. So, 9c7 is 9c2 plus 9c3. Remember, here I am taking coefficient of x power 7 with the help of this. Here I am taking coefficient of x cube. With the help of this. So 9c2. 9 into 8 by 2. 9c3. 9 into 8 into 7 by 6. 2 fours. 3 threes. 3 twos. And 2 fours. So 36. 12 sevens. 84 I have. Is that clear? So I am finding coefficient of x power 4. Sorry, x power 7. Then I will have 120 as the answer. Let us take question number 16. Coefficients of 
mth term m plus 1th term and m plus 2th terms in the expansion 1 plus x whole power n are in AP arithmetic progression then which option will be correct n square plus 4 into 4m plus 1 plus 4m square minus 2 equal to 0 or n square plus n into 4m plus 1 plus 4m square plus 2 equal to 0 or n minus 2m whole square equal to n plus 2 or n plus 2m whole square equal to n plus 2. Which one will be true? That we will do in the next page. So, the main important thing is we are taking 1 plus x whole power n and the general term ncr x power r. Now, we have to find mth term, m plus 1th term and m plus 2th term. For that, r I have to take m minus 1. R I have to take M. R I have to take M plus 1. So N is N. C M minus 1. X power M minus 1. N C M. X power M. N C M plus 1. X power M plus 1. Now according to the question. The coefficients are in a arithmetic progression. This, this and this. NCM minus 1, NCM, NCM plus 1 are in arithmetic progression. So arithmetic progression means 2 times the middle term will be equal to sum of the first term and last term. NCM minus 1, NCM plus 1. That is the condition for three terms in AP. I will write the formula. If ABC are in arithmetic progression, 2B will be equal to A plus C. This formula we are using here. So now I have to simplify this. 2 into N factorial by M factorial into N minus M factorial. Equal to N factorial by M minus 1 factorial into n minus m plus 1 factorial plus n factorial by m plus 1 factorial into n minus m minus 1 factorial. So the very first thing I can do is I can cancel all the n factorials. Apart from that, I have to cancel many more. So what I will do, I will write 2 by, first of all, 1 by this m plus 1 factorial, I will write m plus 1 into m into m minus 1 factorial. Like that here, m factorial, I will write m into m minus 1 factorial. Here, 1 by m minus 1 factorial, I will keep same. Next, this n minus m plus 1 factorial, I will write n minus m plus 1, n minus m and n minus m minus 1 factorial. 
Whereas this n minus m minus one factorial here, I will keep same, but n minus m factorial I will write n minus m, n minus this is n, n minus m minus one factorial. Why am I writing like this? Because everywhere I will cancel m minus one factorial. Everywhere I will cancel n minus m minus one factorial. So I will have two by m into n minus m equal to one by n minus m plus one into n minus m plus one by m plus 1 into m. This is what I am left off with. See, many terms got cancelled. Now, what I have to do is, I have to take common denominator. What will be the common denominator? 2 by m into n minus m. Here, the common denominator will be n minus m plus 1, n minus m, then m plus 1, and then m. So that I can cancel n minus m, I can cancel m also. But in the numerator, I will have m plus 1 into m plus n minus m plus 1 into n minus m. That means 2 I will multiply with n minus m plus 1 into m plus 1. And the other side I have m plus 1 into m plus n minus m plus 1 into n minus m. This is what I have, which I have to expand. No other option, I have to expand this and say which option will be equal. So I have to multiply this. I will write it on the next page. 2 into n minus m plus 1 into m plus 1 equal to on the right side I have m plus 1 into m. plus n minus m plus 1 into n minus m. n minus m plus 1 into n minus m. Now, what I will have? 2 into mn plus n minus m square minus m plus m plus 1. So minus m and plus m will cancel here. So I will have 2 mn plus 2 n minus 2 m square plus 2. This side. The other side m square plus m plus n square minus mn minus mn plus m square plus n minus m. m and minus m will cancel. Now what is left? m square, 2m square, this m square and this m square, 2m square. Then minus 2mn plus n square plus n. Getting all the terms to one side. What I will have? n square minus 4mn. This n square minus 2mn minus 2mn minus 4mn. And then 2m square plus 2m square. 4m square. And then n minus 2n minus n. And then minus 2 equal to 0. 
this I can write it as n minus 2m whole square equal to n plus 2. So which option I have to select, you will know by yourself. n minus 2m square whole square equal to n plus 2. This option we got it. Again, it is a little bit lengthy sum, but slowly you will get used to it. So we have one more class for binomial theorem. In that class also, we will learn a few multiple choice questions. And with that, we will end this topic. We will go to the next topic. Meanwhile, learn all the formulas and be ready always. See you in the next class.